What's up guys? It's Julius James here and um, what do I have in my hand? <laughs> I don't want to ram you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Alrighty mates, don't forget to put your gloves on because you don't want to get zapped or anything like that. Alrighty mates, what I'm doing right here is I'm just unscrewing that little little screw where you pop the cover off so you can get access to the beautiful computer. <laughs> Alright mates, watch how easy this pops off. Boom, just like that, the cover pops off and when you're taking the side panel off there's actually a um, a thing that goes inside the PC all you all you want to do is it's right there so all you want to do is you want to lift the cover up and it should slide straight out and voila look at that that's the inside of the Alienware Aurora R7 isn't that just beautiful and that's my fridge right there comment in the comment section section down below what you think I have in my fridge because why the heck not before you lift up your power supply, there's two little switches that you want to flick left to unlock it, and then voila, there you go, voila. <laughs> Open that power supply up and look what we have here. We have the beautiful, beautiful Alienware Aurora R7 motherboard. Uh, there's a couple of cables in the way right now, so I'm just moving them, and look at that. Now you might say, hey James, this is the inside of the Aurora R7, but where the heck is the RAM? Well, it is right here. I'm pointing at it right now. Let me just get a flashlight up because it's a little bit hard to see. Now, isn't this just beautiful? This is where the RAM is. And just look at that water cooling and everything. Oh, it gives me the chills. So what we're going to do, see those two slots right there? That's where our RAM is going to go. Get your RAM right here and um, insert it but make sure to take the plastic off because you don't want to um, catch the system on fire all right mates with your ram you see that critical sticker right there well what you want to do is you want to peel that sucker right off peel it right off just um be gentle with it because you don't want to damage any segments of of the ram stick whilst you're doing so because that will just suck okay it shouldn't but if you do well that will just suck <laughs> yes um, don't mind the awkward patience before putting your ram sticks in see where my finger is there's a little notch just push it to the side and it makes it much easier to install your ram stick so do that before installation it should be that tiny bit easier Alrighty mates, once you got that critical sticker unpeeled and ready to go, just line up the RAM into the slot and insert that sucker like there's no tomorrow. And then guess what? You got one RAM stick and there's only one more to go. Now this is exciting. Alrighty, RAM stick number two. Now what you want to do 
is you want to peel that stick right off just like the other one but for some reason this one is being a pain in the um how do i say this in a respectful manner um pain in the motherboard <laughs> you get it you get it no you have to get it guess what it's time for the second installation of the ram stick now after this guess what we should have 32 gigabytes of vram and if we don't well i am going to ninja throw this and get it stuck in the wall somehow i will do it alrighty mates what i'm doing now is i'm just giving that extra little bit of force down to the ram sticks making sure it's in nice and secured because if it's not well that's not a good thing and i want to make sure everything is working up top notch so um if you want to do this, be my guests. The ram sticks should take around 3 kilograms of force. Now that you've got all your ram sticks into the right slots and everything is nice and snug and you are happy with it, all that you need to do now, mates, is close your system, not literally close it, just put everything back together how it was. So the first thing we're going to do is push down this power bank, whatever it's called, and then we're going to flick those switches to the right side. Remember how you took the side panel off, off the Aurora R7? All that you're going to do is put it in reverse. So those two slots right there in the actual casing goes into the base of, of the PC. So just line it up nice and sturdy, nice and nice and easy mates, nice and easy. And once you think you got it, because sometimes it's hard to tell, I know from experience, you just want to slowly pat that, pat that board down, just, just, just pat it down, like, like, yeah, just like that, just like that. And now once you've got everything locked into place, the last thing to do is grab that screw that you stored for later on and screw that baby right back into that hole. Are you ready, are mates? You ready, mates? Ready, ready to see what happens to the first time, 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 time of the Aurora R7? Put it up, 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 put it well, this happened. Yes, I do want to continue. Alrighty, we are booting this thing up for the first time after installing the RAM sticks. And everything is looking good. Yeah, very good. Ah! Okay, well, that spooked me. Just done my password real quick. Boom, just like that. Alrighty mates, this is how we look before we put all that beautiful RAM in. We have 16 gigabytes of RAM. And um, we have all this beautiful stuff. 2,666 megahertz. All this, 4 gigabytes cache. We're using 8.2 gigabytes out of 16 gigabytes right now. And um, let's see how it looks when we put the RAM in. 3, 2, 1. And that's what I'm talking about, mates. Right there, 32 gigabytes of RAM. And look at all these 2,666 megahertz. Oh my god. All this beautiful stuff for slots out of four. You know what I mean? Um, all this beautiful data right here. Just take it all in. Take it all in. Take it all in. All right. When we launch a application like Adobe Premiere Pro, I have seen RAM go up to 20 to 25 isn't that crazy from 16 it goes up to 25 and things are a heck load smoother it's just beautiful it's it's, it's beautiful alrighty guys this is a 1080p video playing in the background and um, it's took off my phone my my crappy phone but anyway uh, 15 gigabytes already when we load 4k projects it goes to 30 alrighty mates if you enjoyed today's video you should totally consider subscribing and whilst you're at it you know do one thing for me share the video to a relative friend or who the heck you want to share it to because it will definitely help this video out so much and plus it will help out the channel 
So be supportive and share today's video. Boom, boom, boom. I'm out.